Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading this week to see where we can find our happiness as we move through whatever the week tends to bring along. The first card is Seven of Fire, Initiation. And it insisted on a companion card for the second one. The second card is Nine of Air, Distortion. The third card is Three of, is Major Three, I'm sorry. The third card is Major Three, Generosity. The fourth card is Six of Air, Meditation. And the fifth card is Five of Air, Consultation. So the dominant energy this week is Air, which is Thought. So what that tells me is a lot of our happiness this week comes from our ability to think things through, to bring ourselves into the place we want to be, through our thinking. We're beginning the week with initiation. Initiation is an exciting, wonderful thing. It means I've finished something completely. I'm stepping into a whole new reality. Here I go. So celebrate whatever that is at the beginning of the week. Even if you don't know what new reality you're stepping into, just celebrate the fact that you have passed from one threshold to another and you're heading into a new adventure. And then mix it all up in your thinking. Allow for distortion to be there. Allow yourself to not see clearly. Allow yourself to see a kind of a Picasso kind of seeing where the nose is on the chin and the eyes are on the shoulders. Let yourself look at things that way because that's going to help bring your reality into clearer focus. And then be generous. Your generosity will bring you a lot of happiness this week. Toward the end of the week, it's time to have some meditation time. Sit quietly with yourself, turn your thoughts free, and let them go wherever they go. This is a little mini vision quest here toward the end of the week. You've allowed yourself to cross into new territory and see things from all kinds of strange perspectives and then embrace the generosity of the universe in giving you so many perspectives. And now it's time to let your mind just move where it wants to with those things. And then at the very end of the week, talk about them with somebody else and ask a perspective about that. One of the keys to understanding a vision quest is you go to a trusted advisor that can be a friend or a loved one or a tree, it doesn't make any difference, and you share whatever that vision was, whatever those images that came to you, and you listen to their perspective of what that collection of thoughts actually means for you. So, your happiness this week is going to come from embracing that change, embracing that you're shifting from one piece of life to another. Let your thinking get all mixed up and distorted with it. Look at it from the most impossible angles until it's all really confusing because you can't see it clearly. And then step into generosity. Appreciate the generosity of the universe. Be generous to those around you. And then sit still, open your mind, let your thoughts just go free form. When you're done with that, talk to somebody about what you thought and ask for their perspective on what that means. I hope you have a delightful week this week.